I just felt a natural kinship immediately to Kaylee. We gave each other a hug, we met in the lobby the Four Seasons, and I just was like, ugh, oh, she's genuine, you know? And then we acted together and it felt like alive and we really listened to each other. She's a very easy actress for me to work with. Your character recognizes Kirsten's photographer character right away and like knows her work. So what film of Kirsten's filmography did you love the most before you were an actor or when you were just starting? I was thinking about this the other day. I was, I was trying to remember what was my um, first memory of sitting in a movie theater and it was going to see her in Spider-Man. I remember having real sort of visceral reactions as a little kid watching that movie on screen, watching her and obviously she has so many moments in that film and the big kiss, you know, it was ingrained in my head as a little girl. And then I had Jumanji on VHS that I, I just was playing on repeat as a kid. And, but when I was a teenager and I found The Virgin Suicides, it was really the sort of key for me as a young actress making the decision of, oh, I see what they're doing there. I see what she's doing. And that's what I want to do. To have it all come full circle, to end up sort of you know, getting to do this movie with her, this person who I've watched her whole career and really admired her range as an actress and how she was able to flip from genre to genre and uh, the level of director she's worked with. It's just really something that I, it's hard to find. It's a really rare career she's had. The older I got um, and the more I learned about film and my taste in film, but growing up in this industry at the same time, um, started to inform my choices more as I got older. And I am a very director-driven actress. It's all about the director to me. And so those are how I navigate my choices now. So at South by Southwest, we do four favorites for Letterboxd. Oh, yeah. yeah. One that you said was uh, Persona, and I'm wondering, director-driven, why do you think directors love to show kind of the duality of women through two characters? Mm. Good question. I think women are endlessly fascinating and we do have so many sides to ourselves and we are also very um, cinematic. <laughs> But like in Persona, it is like, they're endlessly interesting to watch how they were shot. And that was a big influence for me. And also I'm sure for Lars for Melancholia, you know? I think that, yeah, women are fascinating. <laughs> the most moving part of the script when I read it was the relationship between Lee and Jesse. We just made sure we had lots of conversations and I really felt like I could lean on her throughout the whole shoot. And then we also, you know, we ate crap food and ordered chicken wings the whole time and you know, went out and relaxed or hung out with her babies after work to just try to come down after these intense work days. I mean, speaking of intense, the, the car scene is probably the most intense car scene uh, since Children of Men, in my oh, opinion. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a great compliment. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's also like an important moment for your character because it's the first time she kind of steps away from Kirsten's character and does mm -hmm. her own thing and it's, it's dangerous. And... Yeah, it's true. It's sort of when you, I think we see Vogue character Joel have that sort of junky, you know, the sort of hit of danger and addictive quality that it has and that's sort of the DNA that sort of makes up these people and that's somewhere sort of bubbling up in Jesse and I think in that moment you see Ah, that, there's that streak right there. Shooting it was, I had the best time. I tried to get them to, I'm like, I want to do as much of this stunt as possible. So I was actually doing as much of that car to car as possible and Kirsten was actually um, freaking out, genuinely freaking out. Like a mother with a child who's doing something fun for them but that's very dangerous in reality. That was the dynamic between Lee and Kaylee in that in that scene where she gets into the other car. Yeah, that, that was one of my favorite scenes to film in the whole movie. Do you know how many goes uh, it took? <sighs> Roughly. Probably around 20. And every time we had to reset, I just hung on the outside of the car when we went back to our number ones. And I just, I thought I was uh, uh, Tom Cruise. I just thought I was the coolest person filming that. There is kind of a baton passing uh, in the events in this film between the characters. There also, through shooting the film, there was kind of a baton passing from recommending Kaylee. Can you talk about kind of getting to actually experience hearing her saying that she was going to be Priscilla. It was towards the end of the movie and I had been talking to Sophie about Kaylee and how wonderful she was and she got out of the car for work and she's like, I got Priscilla and I burst into tears. <laughs> I was just so 
happy for her and she deserved it. And I just, um, I knew that it would be the total polar opposite of, of civil, you know, working on civil war. So it's good to have that, that balance. <laughs> Not only was she around when I booked that role, she got me that role. That really changed my career. It was just sort of spooky how it all worked out. You know, I, I was living in Missouri, found Sophia's work. It was the first time I'd ever watched a whole director's whole filmography. Obviously, Kirsten is Sophia's muse. Then I'm working with Kirsten while I'm up for the Sophia Coppola film. And then she's the one that puts in a good word to Sophia books me the role, last day of filming, I find out I, I, I got it. I tell Kirsten, she bursts into tears. And then, you know, she said, this is the best next movie to do after this intense war film. You're gonna, you know, run around in beautiful dresses and be sad in a bathtub and you're gonna have the best time with Sophia and all those things came true. But the fact that it was her sort of passing the baton to me, and you know, she did Marie Antoinette when she was the same age as when I did Priscilla. It's just hard to sort of wrap my head around. It's very special.